Hey Taurus, welcome to Queen Airbender Tarot. Today we are going to do your end of December general love reading. Now keep in mind this is a general reading, which means it cannot possibly apply to every single person that's watching. But if you would like a personal reading, all of the information will be left in the description box below. In case you are new to the channel, welcome. Come on in. And in case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today. And I hope that you all are doing well. So Taurus, when I was meditating over you guys' energy, the song that I heard was Valerie by Amy Winehouse. I will leave the link to that song in the description box below so you can listen to it following the reading if you so choose to. Now in that song, she's talking about a woman. It's, it gives me like modern day Jolene by um, Dolly Parton. It gives me the vibe of like somebody knowing that someone is already in a situation and they want to address this person. They want to talk to this person and, and get some things straight. But not in a hostile way. It's almost like I want to know the facts. I want to know the truth so I can know what to do next moving forward. At least in the Amy Winehouse song. Now, Amy Winehouse was a Virgo. And also in your pre-shuffle, you had a lot of Pisces, Gemini, and Cancer as well. So you could be dealing with a Virgo, Pisces, Cancer, or Gemini, some moon, rising, Venus, individual, or a specific situation that happened that began or ended in one of those time frames, okay? So let's see what we get for you guys today, Taurus. And happy holidays. You guys know I don't celebrate holidays, but I do love the energy of like celebration coming together. I love that vibration. So happy holidays to everyone out there, okay? So at the bottom of that, currently you have the three of wands looking forward to something coming in, your ships coming in. And you guys know for me, this is always that ship coming in as relationship. Some of you guys have a new relationship coming in. Could be with a fire sign, Leo, Sag, or an Aries. Also something significant could have came to light in Sag season, which we just wrapped up also. Now, you know, ships, when the ships come in, the ships have cargo on it. So it's like something being unpackaged, some, something being unloaded in other words like some information being unloaded also somebody could be getting downloads right now as well like spiritual downloads okay so we're going to go through the deck and get you guys major arcana which is the hair font and then we'll get the card that comes before and the card that comes after for taurus sun moon rising and venus individuals yeah somebody wants somebody's been keeping a watchful eye on a situation ace of cups again could be dealing with a water sign cancer pisces scorpio I did mention Cancer and Pisces earlier on. Strong Pisces energy. Yeah, somebody, okay, somebody's in love with someone. Either you are in love with someone who's already in a relationship or somebody's in love with you or somebody could be in love with you. If you're in a relationship, you could be, you know, somebody could be in love with your person. Now, I'm going to tell you also on the pre show I did get an energy of somebody finding out that someone's pregnant. If you are not of childbearing age, this could be that you're finding out that a loved one like your child is getting ready to expect the baby. But if you are a childbearing age, you or your person, if you're in a relationship, could be planning for a pregnancy or there could be talks about starting a family. I'm also hearing the gift that keeps on giving. Like some of you guys could be getting an engagement ring either on Christmas or on New Year's. I'm also getting that somebody get, is like I said, I'm getting the, the saying like the gift that keeps on giving. Like somebody can also get a car. I'm getting a car. Somebody could be getting a car. And then something very expensive can be getting paid off also. Like, I feel like somebody's making responsible. And I'm not saying any gift that you give someone is not responsible because you do what you want. But I'm here responsible. Like, somebody is paying off something that's going to allow someone to have more income, extra money. And I'm hearing, like, over and over again, somebody's making a responsible um, purchase or somebody's giving something that's is like a very mature thought as far as gift giving. Because when I hear the gift that keeps on giving, if somebody gives you a car, you're going to use that repetitively. You know, um, if they pay off some type of credit card or something like that, it, it allows you to free up some money. I'm just getting something with that also. Okay. So, again, we're going to go through the deck. Yeah, something is being freed up. <laughs> you got the seven of pentacles here. Something is being freed up. Yeah, somebody's cutting out some debt. Could be involving, again, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And I did mention Gemini earlier. And then also, and some of you guys, if you're single, you definitely have a new love interest coming in. But again, I do feel like this person could have some type of attachment or there was a recent breakup for this person. Okay. So let's go through the deck. Again, we want the hair font, the card that comes before and the card that comes after. And then we'll click. Okay. This is going to happen soon because we didn't even get that far in the deck. And then we'll get clarifiers for those cards. Okay. So right in front of you, absolutely. Ten of Wands, carrying a heavy load, carrying a heavy burden. That goes back to the song, Valerie. If you've never heard it, listen to it. Again, it definitely could be a fire sign involved or something that ended or wrapped up in fire sign season. And the last fire sign season we had was Sag season. 
So the 10 talks about something coming to closure. 10 in numerology talks about finalities, things wrapping up, okay? And it's going right towards you guys' energy. And then you have the King of Swords again. And then the Nine of Pentacles, single woman, single man. Again, somebody, a lot of you guys are single. Because something had to, you, you guys put some heaviness down. You guys put a heavy situation down. I definitely feel like somebody ended something. Again, 10 talks about finality. Something ended in um, Sag season. But here's the thing. I, I, I'm going to say again, I feel like if something ended, somebody definitely has an eye on you. And they're wanting to come in and, and speak their truth. Somebody wants to connect with you. Somebody wants to talk to you. Again, Leo, uh, and I almost said Leo, so I'm not going to, there's no such thing as accidents. So Leo, and then Gemini, Leo, Aquarius. Again, I know this is not a fire sign card, but I did hear Leo. You do have fire here, so it could be a Leo. Again, with that song, Valerie, I feel like somebody is, is saying like, okay, this person's lying. I didn't do what this person accused me of. I didn't talk to this person. I wasn't interacting with this person. Because Valerie is very much like a cheater song, like somebody catching someone cheating or trying to catch someone cheating or trying to find out if their person was stepping out with somebody else. Hmm. Again, I'm going to say something about the gift that keeps on giving. He's a king, which means he has a lot of wealth. He has a lot of abundance. Somebody is like cutting some, some, some debt out. We had this before in the beginning of your shuffle. One second. Okay, my apologies. And as I was on that break really briefly, I did hear the, like, the hook of the song, and she kept saying, stop making a fool out of me. Why don't you come on over, Valerie? Like, somebody just wants to have face-to-face. -face. I don't feel like they, they want drama. They just want to hear the truth. Because source communication and mental, somebody just wants to hear the truth about a situation because they're kind of like, if you tell me that my person is reaching out to you, that actually will help me out because then I could stop trying to fight for something, stop trying to carry something alone. He's carrying this alone, so somebody could be feeling like they're carrying a relationship alone anyway. You guys know, and, I, and I'm not trying to come up with any negative energy, but you guys are seeing the cards that were surrounding you all, right? This is the energies that were surrounding you all, okay? What I'm getting right here is that, you know, around the holiday season, when people are in relationships and they're dealing with other people, that's kind of when stuff comes to the light. Like, they can't spend time with you because they're with their main person. And I feel like that's that's when things come out to the light and people are kind of like, okay, why wasn't this person with me? And they start going through phones, start going through social media. I feel like somebody is putting two and two together is what I'm getting here. Bottom of the deck, yeah, somebody's keeping the options open. Seven of Cups, Illusion, Confusion, Phil scatter, but also keeping the options open. Again, going back to that song, Valerie, if you look right here, there's a person up under here. And you see how it has like that caution, that shock, and then it's a snake right there. Somebody is, is kind of sensing that, okay, my person has disappeared for a certain period of time or they're acting really weird around the holidays because something sneaky is going on. But also on a more positive, because I'm, you know, it's, it's multiple stories because this is a general reading. But on a more positive level, did I not say in the beginning, somebody's going to give the gift that keeps on giving? Because this cup is full of like multiple gifts. And for some of you guys, ooh, this is cool. For some of you guys, somebody has fl flown a family member or or made it able for a family member that someone hasn't seen for a while. They're able to come into town to celebrate the holidays with you. You see how the arms are open, kind of like they're open to embrace someone. So this could be a shock. You see there's a shock there. Somebody's coming in for the holidays. And again, that would be a part of the gift that keeps on giving, right? Because I feel like this would be someone that you're very happy. Could be a father figure, mother, father figure. Who came into town It was a surprise you didn't know about it. Someone could be born in the year of the snake. Someone also could be born in the year of the dragon. Somebody could have a skull tattoo. I'm definitely getting, for some of you guys, it's going to be a shock when you look up and see that somebody that you haven't seen for a while has made it to a family event, a holiday event for a family. Again, that's why I'm getting the gift that keeps on giving. Like, this person may have, like, you know how people do, like, those scavenger hunts? And, okay, go here and you get this gift and this gift and this gift. But the biggest, most important gift to you is, like, a family member or a friend, someone that you, you haven't seen in a while. I do feel like a lot of you guys could be getting surprised by people that you haven't seen for a while, okay? Major Arcana, the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, something fated and destined coming in. Yeah, and remember I said a mother and a father. You have a king and a queen here. But also with this king and queen, somebody could be proposing. I really am getting that also. Because if you see, she's looking at something that has been offered to her or she's thinking about offering something to someone. With that Wheel of Fortune, something fated and destined to happen. Again, somebody could definitely be juggling in a situation as well. 
Keep in mind, these are multiple situations, so you just have to apply what parts fit for you. Yeah, somebody definitely was a playboy, playgirl. Something definitely happened in Sash season for some of you guys. I feel like somebody got caught because the right he's able to juggle and he's kind of getting away with it. If you notice in the background, it's two ships. So there's two people that somebody was juggling because this is definitely Playboy, Playgirl. Let's see what we get here. Five of Wands, Reverse, Conflicts, Arguments, Disagreements. Too many people in a situation. Bottom of the deck, you got the Ten of Pentacles. Again, see, you got the Ten of Pentacles. And the Ten of Wands, Tens, there's something ending with a family situation. There's a woman there and a child. And there's a third party looking on. If you notice, there's one, two, three pentacles by this third party. And there's an upside down home. So, somebody's realizing, just like the song, Valerie, that something is going on. Something fishy for some of some, someone in the situation. And I'm going to say again, for others, there's a gift that keeps on giving. Like, somebody may get a home. Some type of lease is being signed. You see how she's holding that pinnacle there? Like she's accepted something of value. That's what I'm saying. For most of you, it's going to be positive. Something that's going to be very monetarily pleasing. It's going to make you happy. And then for others, it could be a situation where there's a family situation here. And you're looking and realizing, you're finding out that somebody's already in a situation here. Remember I was saying like around the holidays, all of a sudden, this person disappears. You don't hear from them all day because they're spending time with their family for some of you guys. Well, flipping how it applies, it may apply for you. You know, you may be doing this also, you know. Let's get a clarifying for the Ten of Wands. Clarifying for the Ten of Wands for, hmm, hmm. Don't you guys see what flipped out? Three of Cups. And they're right. That's one to show itself. Five of Wands. See, it's too many people involved. Now, when you get this five of wands and the three of cups, that's somebody's definitely a third party, and we're clarifying the ten of wands. I know that because if you look right here, you can see these two people face, but you can't see who this person is. So this is someone who's unknown. Yup, woo, right behind the seven of swords. Liar, cheater, manipulator, sneak, conniver. So, and then nine of pentacles again. Yeah, somebody's going to become single, or and it could be, somebody's definitely going to become single within this holiday season for some of you guys, because you do have pentacles here. And I want you to notice you got the three of cups. And then right behind her back, there's one, two, three pentacles. Something happening behind her back that she's going to find out about in Capricorn season, which we are currently in. Again, you guys are watching what I'm doing. I never pull cards. I know this is heavy for the holidays, and people don't like heavy readings. I don't like giving heavy readings. But I can tell you right now, for some of you guys, you're going to be finding out, like, this person disappeared because they're they're with their family. Somebody definitely is, is the head of a household already. Getting that also. Bottom of the deck, absolutely. Six of Wands in reverse. Like, this person loves attention from the village. They love attention outside of their current situation. That's that's exactly the vibe I'm getting here. Somebody's going to get caught. Let's get a clarifier for the King of Swords. For Taurus, someone rising Venus individuals. I am definitely feel like somebody getting caught. But again, I feel like there's surprises with family members coming into town. Um, many gifts also coming in. Magician in reverse. You guys are watching, okay? So you got the five of swords being clarified by the magician in reverse. Again, Gemini energy, also Virgo. Again, Amy Winehouse is a Virgo. The magician in reverse, in reverse is definitely somebody who is a master manipulator. Because the magician manipulates the elements. They're an illusionist. They can make you see what it is that they want you to see. That's their gift. That's their ability. In reverse is someone who is intentionally being deceptive. And that's major arcana, so that's a definite energy. So this person knows what they're doing. Also, with the Magician in Reverse, I feel like this person may try to surprise you, but you may, some of you guys may find out the surprise. Because again, a Magician, you don't know how they do what they do, how they make their tricks and their magic work. But in Reverse, it's like their magic isn't working. So again, I'm getting multiple messages. Like somebody may have tried to hide some type of gift or some type of surprise from you, but you, you found out about it. Again, it could be involving a Gemini or a Virgo. You got Gemini twice right here in this energy. A Gemini could have spilled the beans. You know Geminis. I'm a Gemini. We, we be telling everything. Like I'm telling everything. <laughs> like I'm telling everything right now. So this person may have, you know, spilled the beans unintentionally. But with this energy, I kind of feel like this, this is intentional. You know, I'm getting that also. But uh, again, I'm getting two messages with this. Either somebody is trying to surprise you, but you, you know, the jig is up. You found out what it is. And then for others, this person was trying to be manipulative, may even be defensive when you um, confront them about it and they're in denial about it. This is intentional. Like this person knows what they're doing. 
I, I, I just really want you guys to see this energy. This is definitely somebody who is indulging in third parties. Intentionally being sneaky and manipulative, or at least that's what they think they're doing. But again, with the magician reverse, I also could say, like, whatever you think you're getting away with, you're not pulling the wool over my eyes. Again, illusions. You're not, they're not doing it. Okay? So, Taurus, sun, moon, rising, and Venus individuals, as always, I'm going to ask that you continue to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, take care. Bye.